So we're breaking language barriers and building the bridge between schools and uh, immigrant parents. So in New York, there's lots of bilingual schools. We found one school in Queens uh, that has 95% uh, Hispanic uh, student population. And uh, um, a lot of these parents, they don't speak very fluent English. So even if they want to help their kids with their homework, they can't. So we're bridging this gap. So in this demo, we'll follow a story of Maria, who was having trouble with fractions in her homework. So over the last couple of weeks. So let's follow the Maria's story. So let's take in the case that Maria's teacher has been uploading her assignments for the last two weeks using our app. So she's been loading in the last two weeks. And then you can see here, OK, May 12th, we did some kind of math assignment. May 19th, we did another kind of math assignment. And just now, I just added on my phone our latest assignment. So the idea behind this is we're giving teachers an easier way to first start analyzing all of the assignments that they're grading, and then second, be able to select uh, different parameters to create a detailed report using Llama's API. So we're able to put all of these documents, right? We're talking about what can be dozens and dozens of assignments over a week, uh, and be able to create a detailed report using uh, Llama's API to look for patterns over time as students are evolving and as they're changing. So let's see. Let's get this up going. Uh, our lead time is about 10 seconds on the Llama API. So it processes uh, all the pictures, and it looks at the report details. And the idea is we're looking to create progress reports that are easier for teachers to do and take advantage of both multimodal capabilities and multilingual capabilities. So in this case, we're not just generating a progress report that says your kid got 8 out of 10 on something. right? We're looking to say the context of how did they get 8 out of 10. And even more importantly, what they need to do, but in the language that you understand. So reality is every day there are thousands of people that are coming into New York City for the first time. Any of you? Eh? No? Man, you must all be uh, Pacers fans, huh? Uh, hey. I'm from New York. But what I will say is every month there are hundreds of new students who come to our schools and for the first time ever, they're here and they don't speak English and neither do their families. How often do you think a New York City teacher is able to interact with a, a student's family, right? The most important part of their support system. I can tell you, it's about once a year for five minutes on a phone call, parent-teacher conference where they say, your kid is that one? Yeah. Uh, they did well. They passed. Happy? So our goal is to be able to provide active live feedback to parents, right, who perhaps they don't have the technical resources, right? They don't have Llama LLM to process their kids' homework, even if they don't understand. So the whole point is we're able to print out a document, right, a PDF every week, right, that's cumulative, and then very simply and very old school, teachers are going to staple to the back of the homework and send it off with the kid. So even if you have just come to America, you've just come to New York City, you've just become a New York City resident, uh, you're able to take full advantage of all these you know, new technological capabilities, right? And teachers are able to do it faster. Even if you have to pay for your phone using cash at a mobile store somewhere in uh, Jackson Heights or Corona or Jamaica or one of the many other great neighborhoods that uh, people might say is somewhere between gentrification and up and coming, I just say it's home. So, I don't know. Alrighty, we are at time. Thank you, team Parent Bridge. Yeah. Judges.